raised over how black history will be taught in Florida schools. The Florida Board of Education approved the new controversial set of standards despite objections. Wink News reporter Claire Gall joins us in the studio. Claire, what do people say are the biggest issues? Lois, moms and teachers I spoke with today feel that the new standards sugarcoat slavery. They said, yes, slavery is horrific. It is gruesome and it is hard to hear, but it happened here in this country and you can't ignore that. Andrea Berg told me when she sends her son to school, she wants him to learn the truth about history, not some truth, the whole truth. You can't give ha half the information and expect people to think they're educated on something. I want Mason to learn everything. This week, the Florida Board of Education approved new standards for how African-American history will be taught in public schools. Berg and other moms I met worry these standards do not improve the curriculum because African-American history starts in Africa, not America. Really, if you're going to teach African-American history, you need to include ancient Africa. The truth is the truth. What happened is the truth. My children are multiracial. They have the right to know the truth about their history. Um, there's also really problematic language in some of the standards. For instance, um, there is language that suggests that there were skills that um, African Americans gained from their enslavement. Mom and former teacher Annie O'Donnell is talking about part of the middle school standards that require instruction to include, quote, how slaves developed skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. No, there's no justification for owning human beings, period. And I don't understand why the state would um, need to say anything other than that. FGCU professor of education Jennifer Chagru said these moms are right to speak up. And it concerns me that, and I hope it concerns Florida residents, particularly those with school-age children, that teachers are being asked to misrepresent our history. Florida Department of Education sent me a statement saying every standard was developed by a work group formed to ensure the new standards provide students comprehensive instruction on African-American history. And they proudly stand behind them. Lois, Chris.